Visual art is basically expressing yourself through um, images. And to me, that can be anything from painting and drawing to virtual reality art. And I consider it my second language. Uh, the first language I ever learned was Armenian because I was born in Armenia. And um, when we moved to Denmark, I couldn't really express myself in my native tongue anymore. So I uh, started um, learning how to draw and paint and that became my preferred mode of self-expression as I was um, still learning Danish and English. First time at uh, Arsen Petrosian when he was playing a concert here in Copenhagen and then he introduced me to the Babylon Orchestra and uh, the orchestra invited me to work on this project and I said yes because I like the really high quality music they make and uh, they're very talented musicians but I also really uh, connect with the kind of music they play and the aesthetic direction and the um, the feeling for the art. That's very important to me. And of course, it's an Armenian theme and I'd been um, looking for an opportunity to um, dive into the, the cultural and um, historical aspects of my heritage in my art. So this was a really good opportunity. So originally this was supposed to be a live virtual reality painting session as the orchestra would be performing. Uh, but unfortunately because of COVID-19 that was not really possible. So instead I'm creating animated music videos by using VR, virtual reality. I start by listening to the music and finding something I connect with and writing a story for the video. And then I paint these large scenes with landscapes and characters, little by little, in, in VR. And that makes them three-dimensional paintings. And because of that, I can film them with cameras from different angles. And then I edit that video to the music. This kind of art films are normally done by animation studios with many people, but I developed a technique where I'm using some clever tricks in VR, which allows me to make the film by myself from start to finish in a relatively short time, something like two weeks. My starting point is the music itself, so I take a lot of inspiration from that. And also uh, parts of Armenian history and Armenian culture that I find relevant for the artworks. And an example is a VR, one of the VR pieces is about uh, the great Komitas. And I've included Cranes because he has a very famous song about Cranes. My strongest association is the, uh, the play by Oscar Wilde called Salome, who is a Babylonian princess. And according to some historians, she actually becomes queen of Armenia Minor, so that's a little relevant. Um, and then, of course, the, uh, the hanging gardens of Babylon, which I would have really liked to see. <laughs> 